summer. And it's like, it's one thing when we're talking about summer and that's like eight weeks away. We're kicking it off, this is the unofficial start. And that means maybe at home movie nights. Maybe it means, dare I say, visitors, right, over the summer and during the holidays as well. It used to be, and I said this during our Today's Special Value presentation, that a blow-up bed was like the one thing a guest w was praying you didn't have, right? Like, please let me have a real bed. Oh, no. Because why? You'd wake up in the middle of the night, and it would be down on the floor. Or it would be freezing cold. Or as the homeowner or the host, it would take forever to deflate or inflate. In other words, there are lots of things to not like about air beds. And there is nothing but good things to love about this one. It's from Best Way. Best Way is a company that only does inflatables. So they do things like pool toys for sure, but they actually create blow up motorboats. I mean, anything that involves putting air inside of it and staying secure, Best Way does. Even if you haven't heard of it, they've been around for years. So we have your choice of sizes here in this new Tough Guard, there's a reason it's called that, airbed with built-in pumps. So if you're looking for like me to pull out some extra pump thing or something, I don't have it because it doesn't exist. It's built right in. Next to me over there is your twin size bed. And that's $62.92. Hey, that's a really good price. Like for a good twin size bed, if you're camping or even you have guests on the regular or your guest room and aren't buying the whole bed yet, $62.92. So it's on four easy pays of $15.73. Now I am on the queen and the queen, wow, even the queen is only $73.18. And that turns into an easy pay of $18.30. But if you shop with your Q card, it's $12 and change. And your retail values are far closer to $90 and $100. It's V37037. Now, we've presented this before, but never before with four easy monthly payments. Um, actually, just incidentally, I noticed I came over here on the side and it didn't dip down to the floor. <laughs> so I could be laying on this even on the edge, and I don't feel like I'm gonna fall right off, right? Because you have that extra chamber. I didn't even realize that. This is the first time I've ever laid on it. This is really comfortable. Like I have support under my back and my shoulders, and I don't feel myself like sinking in or even like feeling like it's gonna be flat on the ground by the end of the day. So let's talk about some of the actual like functional features of it. I'm gonna come around to the front. Everything that you need on this is built into this panel. So here, this um, mechanism right here is how you're going to deflate it. And then over here is the power cord. So it folds up neatly into the end. So you don't have this ginormous unit out on the side or something that you, oh gosh, we forgot to pack it, we can't blow up the bed. And you see how it has all these individual chambers so that it's distributing the air where I lay down on one side. Have you ever had that situation where you're, you're laying down on a blow up mattress and somebody's next to you? And you kind of have to, we used to camp my family and I a lot, and one, you would have to tell the other person you were about to get up because then they would roll over to your side if you didn't do that. But here, gosh, I even had that kind of like um, low disturbance that I would have in a high-end mattress. And now let's talk about the fabric itself, right? This is why we call it the Tough Guard. This is built to be puncture resistant. You're gonna see a little graphic here. Abrasion resistant. It has a weight limit, gosh, even the twin, you know, typically you put one person on a twin, and that weight limit is 396 pounds. The queen is 770 pounds. So if you do the math, like splitting it in half, two people, it includes wavelength beams, we'll talk about that, and the height of 18 inches, which I'll show you in a second. I love this visual. Usually when we have our guests in the studio, Kylie Watts would be presenting it. And if you know Kylie, um, she is a pet animal dog lover. And we love her for that. Her rescues are absolutely adorable. She's got three of them there. And, and basically what Kylie said, there was, it's like um, how many 40 some odd claws on top of that mattress and none of them are puncturing into it. And so even if the doggies and the cats jump up on it, you don't have to worry about it punching a hole into it. So we're showing you video now of it inflating and deflating. Here's something else I have for you, because I think you're looking at the twin right now. Inflating it is a breeze. You simply turn that dial after it's plugged in and walk away. You don't need a separate pump. Here's something I love, the deflate time. And you're gonna see that illustrated in just a second. Two people obviously fit very comfortably on there. To deflate the twin takes three and a half minutes. To deflate the queen takes five minutes. 
So this is not something that you have to constantly bounce on top of and, squ and squish it and press down on the side to try to get all the air out. The same mechanism that inflates the bed, you see that? Deflates the bed. So once you plug it in and turn it to deflate, it's gonna deflate for you. So, and then the other thing I wanted to show you, you saw it on the graphic, 18 inch height. I'm five foot six, so this will kind of give you a, a sense of scale. And you see how I'm sitting and it's almost sitting, like sitting on a chair. So I don't, once again, just like with our TSV, I don't have to do this, all right, I'm gonna get out, right? I'm level, so it's real easy to get in and out of. And all throughout the night, it's going to stay at that inflation level. And one other thing I hope we can show you, and we can do it from the side too, it's almost like, like a flocked material. You're not laying on cold plastic. So everything about this is upgraded comfort. What was I just talking about before when I talked about, gosh, I think I've, I've referenced this three or four times in the show now. Clearly I have a theme. I'm done compromising when I make a purchase, right? If I need an air mattress because I do have a guest coming over, or I am going to go camping, or maybe for my daughter who's gonna be in an apartment next year, and I know she's gonna have friends over, but she's in a tiny bedroom. Maybe I'm picking that up. I'm done spending money on the one that's gonna make everybody miserable, that's gonna be cold in the middle of the night, or that's gonna get easily punctured and I've wasted my money and have to come back to and buy again and again and again. These are things I usually say for something that's kind of expensive and you kind of need to justify that price in your mind. You don't have to. Look how affordable this is. So if you see yourself using this frequently, and guys, I mean even in the future, like during the holidays, if you usually have guests coming over for Thanksgiving or students coming home for Christmas, maybe go ahead and make that investment now. And it's hardly an investment at this price. V37037, queen, twin, but neither of them has an easy pay higher than $20. It's V37037. My pick of the show, still to come. In less than 10 